So, I accidentally checked my work email this morning. <laughs> Who cares, right? No big deal. Um, but I saw some things and started making my, my brain work in certain ways that I didn't want to yet. Um, it's just one of my tricks that I try and do for myself, <laughs> for my sanity, uh, that at night, I'll shut down my work email and I will not look at it until the following morning. And the following morning being after my run and after doing the video, after, after some bread time. Um, it's snowing, so I, that's my phone, but let's pretend I ran by the way. Um, I opened it up, was, was looking at, at the weather apps and everything and shut those down and boom, my work email was left open from last night. And I saw some key emails already and just know some stuff I already have to do. But it's fun me. I, I already had today planned. I was, I was going to talk about some Tim Ferriss. Um, I'll save that. Whatever. Um, <laughs> but I, what I ended up doing, I changed up my music I listen to uh, typically uh, when, when I'm typing in this stuff for the video. Um, I pulled out the Fratellis. Uh, rock band, upbeat rock band, so started, started feeling it. I was like, all right, all right, this is good. Started smiling a little more. Um, then, this is a book I do turn to in moments like this. Uh, the War of Art, Break Through the Blocks and Win Your Inner Creative Battles, Stephen Pressfield. And um, what's really cool about this book is that uh, some of the stories are two, three pages. Some are a single page, like this one. And it's real short. Uh, resistance is invisible. Resistance cannot be seen, touched, heard, or smelled, but it can be felt. We experience it as an energy field radiating from a work in potential. It's a repelling force. It's negative. Its aim is to shove us away, distract us, prevent us from doing our work. Resistance. We're fighting it. Um, my daughter makes my bookmarks. So uh, I'll put that on um, the website and everything. Just just a cool little book to have around. Um, I've read it a couple of times already, but I just I just kind of just just leave it there. So in days like this where, you know, you just start to spin, you're like, oh, all that other stuff I got to do. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> quote of the day. And this quote came to me. I, I have no idea how. It came to my work email, and um, I was like, wow, that's pretty good. I cut and paste that in where I always keep all my quotes. But um, when you stop chasing the wrong things, you give the right things a chance to catch you. Lolly Daskal. So that was, that was fresh to me from, from yesterday, my work email. In a good way, helped me yesterday. Uh, again, I ran, and... Um, Happy Friday Eve. I'll see you tomorrow.